Hey, 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 hey there. It's story time. And we have a great story for you today. Yes, I'm not at home today doing your story. I'm at the library doing your story. So I have great backgrounds that we normally have. But we have a fantastic story. Yes, a fantastic story. And I'm sure that we to hear the story. And today's story, yes, to, to choose mission is about the stork who spilled the beans. The stork who the beans. That's what it looks like. One day, lion and alligator were sitting around the park talking about things. Can you imagine that? A lion and an alligator sitting park bench talking. Wow. But it says, one day, the lion and the alligator were sitting around the park talking about, hmm, have you ever talked to an alligator? Talked to a lion? Me either. I wonder where babies come from, said Lion. It's easy, Alligator replied. They come from under a cabbage leaf. A cabbage leaf. Hmm. A cabbage leaf. Have you seen a cabbage leaf? Have you seen the size of a baby? Wow. What is Alligator thinking about? Come from under a cabbage leaf. Leaf. That's the silliest thing I've heard, laughed Lion. Babies do not come from under a cabbage leaf. It's impossible. What do you think? Is it impossible? Hmm. It's damp and dirty under cabbage leaves, and everybody knows you have to keep babies clean and dry. So I guess he's saying the cabbage is too dirty and too wet for babies to be on that. Otherwise, if the cabbage may be dry, hmm, might be able to have a baby there. All right, wise guy, squirrel alligator. If you they they don't come from cabbage leaf, where do they come from? Have you ever asked that question? Where do babies come from? Do you know? Hmm. I don't know for sure, lion scratching his mane, but I do know that you won't find babies under the cabbage leaf or the lettuce or the carrot plants, anywhere else in the garden. The lion has ruled out all of the plants in the garden. So it's not possible for a baby to be under any plant in the garden. Hmm. Well, you're wrong, said alligator. Babies come from under, guess what? The cabbage leaf. Yes, babies come from under cabbage leaves. That's what alligator is saying. They do not, giggle lion. Do so, shouted alligator. <laughs> That's the thing. Are you crazy, alligator? Do so, do not. Do so, do not. Do so, do not. They're arguing back and forth about where babies, not the babies, come under a cabbage leaf. Just then, Elephant passed the bench where lion and alligator was arguing. Hold on there, she said. What are the two of you fighting about? Actually, they're arguing. This silly alligator, said lion, just told me that babies come from under, you got it, cabbage leaves. Have you ever heard of something so funny? <laughs> Whoa, alligator. Elephant laughed and said, Where do you think babies come from, lion? Or, admitted lion, but I do know they do not come from under cabbage leaves. Lion and alligator looked at elephant. Well, they said, Where do babies come from? They both asked the elephant. Babies? Hmm. Elephant said. 
are bought by the stork. Stork delivers babies. Stork is a little skinny bird and flies around and yeah, they're delivering babies according to the elephant. Yes, of course, said Lion. That's right. That's it. That's it. That's it. The stork delivers babies. After all, he's a postmaster. I still think they come from under the cabbage leaves, and you can't tell me that stork delivers them, said Alligator. So Alligator turned with us that the stork delivers the babies and that the babies are not under cabbage leaves. Well, there's only one way to make sure, said Elephant. So what do you think they're going to do? Elephant says, let's go where? Let's go to the post office and ask Stork. Then you'll know for sure. They're headed to the post office to ask this very, very important question. Do babies come from? They all left the park and went across the street to, guess where? The post office. And the, they found Stork busy stacking packages. Stork, they all said at once, we have a question for you. Yes, we, all three of us, have a question. Hold on there, said Stork, one at a time. I'm always happy to answer questions, and I have answers for every question, but you will have to ask them one at a time because I can't answer two questions at a time. So one question at a time, and I, the stork, will answer. Stork said, Lion, alligator says that babies come from a cabbage leaf. No, they don't, said Stork. But I can tell you about a carload of cabbage leaves. See, I said to Rabbit, in Memphis once. I remember it very well. It was July and very hot. Those leaves were very, very heavy. And I had to put them on a special delivery to the rabbit so they would not spoil. Wait a minute, Storm. Elephant trumpet. That wasn't the question. Well, uh, what was it then? Asked Story. Sound like a question? Elephant said, the question is this story. Do you deliver babies? Stork stood up on the box. Huh? <laughs> wow. Yes, well, I've been asked that before. And the answer is pretty easy. I delivered boxes of letters and soft, fuzzy sweaters, refrigerators, percolators, radiators, and ventilators. I eliminated marmalade, lampshades, spades, and ropes and braids. I delivered bags of flags and boxes of tags, envelopes and cantaloupes, kaleidoscopes, and antelopes. I've delivered most everything. Balloons and spoons and heavy baboons, hats and bats and coats for cats, snakes and flakes and wakes. And weddings, everything comes through the post office. As a postmaster, I deliver airplanes, canes, weather vanes, but I do not deliver babies. Nope, I do not deliver babies. You don't, said Alligator. You don't bring them here, cried Lion. If it's not you, said Elephant. Where do the babies come from? <laughs> Laugh, Stork. Well, said Stork, it's really very, very simple. I can tell you in one word where babies come from. Yes, the Stork said, I can tell you in one word where babies come from. I know, I know, I know, said Alligator. The word is store. Nope, said store. I know, I know, I know, said lion. The word is babies come from Mars. Nope, said store. 
So let's recap this story a little bit. First, alligator says they come from underneath cabbage leaves. And the lion says, nope, they don't come from any place in the garden. Then they're wanting to know if they come from the stunts. The postmaster does not deliver them. Or maybe Mars. Cabbage leaves. Mars. Oh, the store. The places that they think that babies might come from. Well, babies come from, said Lion. Will we ever find out where the babies come from? Yep. Said, I'll tell you right now. Babies come from mothers. Yes, they do. Babies come from mothers, not under cabbage leaves, not in the stores. Nope, nope, nope. Not any other place. Not in the pulpit, and surely I as the postmaster do not deliver babies. Babies come from their mothers. Babies come from their mothers. So alligator and the lion along with the elephant know where babies come from. Did you know where babies come from? Do you have a brother or a sister? Talk to your mom. Explain the process because mom knows everything.